Hey guys, Blake Rudis, and this is my down and dirty quick start guide to Photoshop. These are the things that I do that are absolutely necessary for my workflow and I wanna share them with you. So let's go ahead and get started. What I need to do is set up my workspace and make sure that my workspace is set up for me to work efficiently. Right now, this is set up with the basic photography workspace that's not quite as efficient for my taste. So because I don't use things like libraries and adjustments, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them. Just close that tab and close that tab. So now I can start building up my own interface and my own workspace that really helps me out. So I'm gonna go to Window, and I'm gonna go to Properties. And the reason why I put Properties here above my Layers palette is it allows me to see the properties of things like Curves Adjustment Layers and Hue Saturation Adjustment Layers, and you'll see that when we start getting started on the other things. Then I'm gonna to go to Window and go to History, and that's because if I make a mistake and I need to go back, I can always pop into the history whenever I need to. So now I'm set up and I'm ready to go. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna adjust tone, color, and artistic effects, and I've got adjustment layers that are gonna do that for me. So the first one I'm gonna do is right down here, just click on your adjustment layer and click on curves. Now the quick spiel on curves is that the lower four blocks of the curves adjustment layer is for your shadows, the middle is for your midtones, and the upper four are for your highlights. So if you were to bring this down, it's gonna make your darks darker. Bring it up, it's gonna make your darks lighter. Now if you go here to your midtones and pull this down, it's just making our darks darker or our darks lighter. Okay, so that just gives us a little bit of contrast. It starts to develop some depth within the photograph. And now I can manipulate my highlights. Do I want my highlights to be brighter or do I want them to be darker? Because I really want your eye to focus on them, I'm gonna make them brighter. Our eye tends to focus on things that are brighter first before things that are darker. So now I'm leading you right into this image with that waterfall. So I've got tone looking pretty good there. I've added a lot more depth to my image. I'm gonna add another layer here. It's the hue saturation adjustment layer. And that hue saturation adjustment layer is awesome because it allows me unprecedented control over my colors. So I'll use a targeted adjustment tool, which is this little finger icon right here. Click on that, and then I can click on any color in my image, let's say the yellows, and I can start getting those yellows either more saturated or less saturated. So this is where I start picking and pulling the colors in my image and deciding how I want those colors to look so the viewer feels what I felt when I saw them. In this image, it was a fall landscape, beautiful fall color that was in Olympic National Park. So I wanna accentuate that by making those yellows a little bit more brighter, but also closer to the orange side. So now I've got tone, I've got color, now I need to add an artistic effect. And artistic effects is color grading. It's just, what do you wash your entire image with to get the viewer to feel what you felt? So I'm gonna go down to my adjustment layers, and one of my favorite ones is a solid color. So by default, it's just gonna wash your whole image with whatever color is selected here. I'm gonna to go to something that's probably more along my oranges, um, right around there, press OK. And if I change this blend mode to color and then drop the opacity down, it washes the entire image with a nice haze of orange. Now, if you don't like that color, make, maybe make that artistic decision to change it, just double click that color fill. And at this point, I can change it to any color I want to get the viewer to feel what I felt. This is more cold. It's got that cold Olympic National Park feel, whereas this is more warm with that warm Olympic National Park feel. Right here, I've got tone, color, artistic effects already done on a baseline image. I can save it down and I'm good to go. If you wanna learn more about Photoshop and what I do in Photoshop, go ahead and check out my courses on Creative Live.